acceleration. You must have heard of the term acceleration, like the accelerator of a car or an athlete accelerating. Well, this is the speedometer of a car. It tells us the speed of the car at different instants in time. It also shows that the speed of the car is not constant. It keeps on changing. We have already learned that a body is said to be in uniform motion if its velocity remains constant over time. And a body is said to be in non-uniform motion if its velocity varies with time. Well, most of the situations which we come across in real life are of non-uniform motion. That is, the velocity of objects does not remain constant over time. It keeps on changing. And as the velocity changes, we might be interested in knowing how does it change, whether it is increasing or is it decreasing, by how much is it increasing or by how much is it decreasing. Thus, we are interested in knowing the rate of change of velocity with time. And this rate of change of velocity is termed as acceleration. Thus, acceleration is the change in velocity by time taken. So, change in velocity divided by the time taken. And the mathematical formula for acceleration is given by this. So, a vector, that is acceleration vector, is equal to Final velocity, which is v, minus initial velocity, which is u, divided by the time taken. So, a is equal to v minus u by time taken. Acceleration is a vector quantity. Why? Because acceleration is change in velocity by time taken. And since velocity is a vector quantity and acceleration depends on velocity, so obviously acceleration will be a vector quantity. What is the unit for acceleration? Well, we know that acceleration is change in velocity by time taken. What is the standard unit for velocity? We have already learned that the standard unit for velocity is meters per second. What is the standard unit for measuring time? It is seconds. So from this, can you say what is the standard unit of acceleration? Yes, it is meters per second divided by second. That is meters per second square. So standard unit for acceleration is meters per second square. That is meters per second per second. So acceleration tells us by how many meters per second is the velocity changing per second. That is in one second, by how many meters per second is the velocity changing? And this gives us the standard unit for acceleration, which is meters per second square, denoted by m by s to the power 2. Now, how does the velocity of a body change? Let us see. We have a situation where Jerry is initially traveling with a velocity of 25 meters per second towards east. After 5 seconds, he was traveling with a velocity of 40 meters per second towards east. So, is he accelerating? Think about it. Yes, he is accelerating because his velocity has changed. So, he is accelerating. And what is the acceleration in this case? We know that acceleration is defined as final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken. So, what is the final velocity here? What is the final velocity? Final velocity is 40 meters per second. So, it is 40 meters per second. What is the initial velocity? 25 meters per second. So, it is 25 Time taken is 5 seconds. So, 5 seconds. So, 40 minus 25 is 15 by 5 meters per second square. 
So this is how we calculate acceleration here. So 15 by 5 gives us 3 meters per second square. So in this case, Jerry is accelerating at 3 meters per second square. Here we see only the magnitude of velocity has changed. Direction that is east remains the same. Now we come to a second case. In this case, Jerry was traveling with a velocity of 40 meters per second towards east. After 5 seconds, he was traveling with a velocity of 25 meters per second towards east. Is he accelerating? Yes, even this is acceleration. Although we are used to associating acceleration with increase in velocity, but any change in velocity is termed as acceleration. And what is the acceleration in this case? Let us calculate. Acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken. So what is the final velocity here? 25 meters per second. So this is 25. What is the initial velocity? It is 40 meters per second. So 40 time taken is 5 seconds. So this is 5. So acceleration is 25 minus 40 by 5. That is minus 15 by 5 meters per second square. So this is what we get and minus 15 by 5 gives us minus 3 meters per second square. So we see that in this case acceleration is minus 3 meters per second square. Here also only the magnitude of velocity has changed. The direction is the same and the magnitude of velocity has in fact decreased. So Jerry is slowing down. And this type of acceleration in which a body slows down is called deceleration or retardation. Now let us come to the third case. Here, Jerry is first traveling with a velocity of 25 meters per second towards east. After 5 seconds, he was traveling with a velocity of 25 meters per second towards west. Is he accelerating? Yes. Even this is acceleration. Here, the magnitude of velocity is the same, but the direction has changed. Earlier, he was traveling towards east. Now, he is traveling towards west. So, the direction of velocity has changed. And any change in velocity is called acceleration. So, even this, so even in this case, Jerry is accelerating. So we can now answer our question, how does velocity of a body change? Well, it can change if a body speeds up, if a body slows down or if a body changes its direction of motion. Now if we look at this case, Jerry was initially moving with a velocity of 40 meters per second towards east. Later. He was moving with a velocity of 25 meters per second towards east. We found the acceleration in this case to be minus 3 meters per second square. Now if we take east to be the positive direction, west becomes negative. So an acceleration of minus 3 meters per second square implies an acceleration of 3 meters per second square in the negative direction. That is an acceleration of 3 meters per second square in the west direction. But we see that Jerry is moving towards east. However, his acceleration is towards west. So what do we see? We see that direction of velocity gives us the direction of motion. But direction of acceleration does not give the direction of motion. So if I tell you that acceleration of Jerry is 3 meters per second square towards west, then you cannot say that Jerry is moving in the west direction. 
jerry could be moving in the east direction as well that we can say after seeing the velocity that in which direction is jerry moving now here's a question this is the time taken by car a and the velocity of car a at different instants in time so is the velocity constant here well we see that velocity is not constant at 0 seconds velocity is 0 meters per second at 1 seconds velocity is 10 meters per second so it is not constant calculate the acceleration of car a in the time interval 1 second to 3 second and over the entire period now let us calculate the acceleration first in the time interval 1 second to 3 second so 1 second to 3 second now the final velocity that is velocity at 3 seconds is 30 meters per second square so acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity that is velocity at 1 second is 10 meters per second final minus initial by time taken what is the time taken 1 second to 3 second that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 seconds so this gives us 20 by 2 that is 10 meters per second square now let us calculate the acceleration for the entire time period that is for 0 second to 4 second now what is the final velocity that is velocity at 4 second it is 40 meters per second so acceleration is equal to final minus initial velocity that is velocity at 0 seconds it is 0 meters per second what is the time taken from 0 to 4 second 4 minus 0 that is 4 seconds so it is 40 minus 0 by 4 meters per second square that is 40 by 4 meters per second square this gives us 10 meters per second square so we see in both the cases we get the same acceleration that is 10 meters per second square in fact we see that equal changes in velocity take place in equal intervals of time what do we mean by this in the first second velocity has increased by 10 meters per second in the second second velocity has increased by 10 meters per second in the third second velocity has increased by 10 meters per second and so on thus in every second velocity is increasing by 10 meters per second so equal changes in velocity is taking place in equal intervals of time so this is a case of uniform acceleration or constant acceleration so when equal changes in velocity take place in equal intervals of time we say that the body is moving with uniform acceleration or constant acceleration now let us study the case of another car that is car b this is the time taken by car b and this is the velocity of car b at different instants in time what do we see uh, in the first second velocity of car b has increased by 10 meters per second in the second second velocity of car b has increased by 30 meters per second so unequal changes in velocity take place in equal intervals of time so here our time interval was 1 second but changes in velocity was unequal so this is a case of non uniform acceleration or variable acceleration so when unequal changes in velocity take place in equal intervals of time 
we say that the body is moving with non-uniform or variable acceleration. So we have studied that acceleration is given by change in velocity by time taken. It can be uniform acceleration or it can be non-uniform acceleration.